Welcome to the I Am John Cullen podcast. This episode number three, we're going to take a closer look at Officer Brady Cook. Officer Brady Cook was on his second day at the Las Vegas Metro Police Department. And on his second day at work, he was shot and injured. And we're going to take a closer look at his injuries and how he got them and where those shots might have come from. Officer Brady Cook's experience was filmed by the officer that was accompanying him. Uh, That officer's body cam is release 8, camera 64. In order to get the full effect of our videos, it's really important that you wear headphones. So if you're not wearing headphones, go grab a pair, hit pause. We're going to take a look at the footage, the moment that Brady Cook was shot. And then I want to show you a tribute film that was put together by the Las Vegas Metro Police Department about Brady Cook. And we learned something from that film. And we'd like to thank the Las Vegas Metro Police Department for sharing that information with us. So first, let's just take a look at the raw footage. This is the moment Officer Brady Cook is shot. This footage is the footage from the Las Vegas Metro Police Department. This is the documentary about Brady Cook getting shot, and then we'll break it down. But first, let's just take a look at the first couple moments of their documentary. Brady, he was a second day officer. You know, he was two days out of the academy, and we find ourselves in the middle of an active shooter under a barrage of gunfire. The first thing you hear is coming down the street, you just hear the sounds of the gunfire. Can you tell me where it is coming from? Plan was to set up a strike team to go in and find the guy. And then, but as soon as we got out of the car, he focused all his fire on us. All right, we need to pause right there because the LVMPD edited out about 42 seconds of video. And from 10.09.23 till 10.10.06, they just cut that out. And there's a good reason that they cut that out. We showed that to you earlier in the video. So let's watch again what they did exactly. So they go from traveling down Las Vegas Boulevard to when they make the turn, and there's 42 seconds of footage that's missing. That 42 seconds of footage is what we showed you earlier in this podcast with all the red circles, and that's when the helicopters are flying over the intersection. Plan was to set up a strike team to go in and find the guy. Plan was to set up a strike team to go in and find the guy. It was just all around you, just felt like it was coming from everywhere, top, down, left, right, it just felt like it was coming from everywhere. It was just all around you, just felt like it was coming from everywhere, top, down, left, right, it just felt like it was coming from everywhere. It was just all around you, just felt like it was coming from everywhere, top, down, left, right, it just felt like it was coming from everywhere. It was just all around you, just felt like it was coming from everywhere, top, down, left, right, it just felt like it was coming from everywhere. He looks over at me and he says, you know, where's it coming from? And he kind of pops his head up a little bit. And at that moment, he took a round. Get out! I got shot! All right! I got shot! Where, 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 where? My arm, my arm. All right, move, move! We got casualty! Now, this next clip from the LVMPD documentary that is a tribute to Brady Cook and his partner reveals information that we did not know before. And this information is critical because it is evidence of the real location of the shooters. So, listen closely. 